This lesson is called How Birds Make a Living. In this lesson, each student will get an opportunity to experience how birds' beaks are specially adapted to their habitat. They will do this by rotating to four different habitat stations and testing out different tools which represent different bird beaks. The objectives for this lesson, students will be able to describe at least four physical and behavioral adaptations that make birds unique. They will be able to describe how a bird beak is like a tool and explain how a bird is adapted to its habitat. For this lesson, there are four different habitat stations that will be set up on the table. The first one is the forest habitat and we have a tree trunk representing the forest and then there are five different tools that the students can use to try to get rice seeds out of the holes. Our next station is the field habitat and here we have beans that need to be crushed. Next we have the wetland habitat which is represented by a container of water that has str floating straws to represent aquatic plants and rocks to represent invertebrates and other animals such as frogs. And lastly, we have our garden habitat, which has a vase to represent a flower filled with nectar that they would have to get from the vase to the cup without spilling. Pictures of different birds can be shown and students will be asked what habitat they live in depending on what type of beak they have. As an ending activity, the students will be given a piece of paper and coloring supplies to create their own bird with unique adaptations. At the end of the lesson for how birds make a living, students should be able to describe at least four physical and behavioral adaptations that make birds unique, describe how a bird beak is like a tool, and explain how a bird is adapted to its habitat.